Hi guys, I'm Greg. And I'm Megan. And today my dad's going to be making beef chili. Alright, I'm starting out in my multi-pan that I have preheating. And I'm going to throw in roughly about two and a half pounds of brown beef. And if this puts off any grease, I'm going to drain the grease off. Now I'm not going to break this up real fine. I'm going to leave it a little chunky because we want some texture in our chili. Not quite meatballs, but a little bit chunky. So once I get this all browned up and drained, if I need to drain it, then I'll bring you guys back. Right now that my ground beef is all browned up, see I left it kind of chunky. I drain the excess grease off. I'm going to add in one green bell pepper, about two stalks of celery, and one onion. I put in my chopper and diced up fine. Get rid of that. And I have my heat off just right now. We're going to stir this in. I'm going to add in some garlic. I'm going to go for about two teaspoons of pre-chopped garlic. If you use fresh, do about two cloves. Right now I have a can of tomato juice. This here is 46 ounces. We're going to add that in. And I'm going to turn my heat back on. I'm also going to add in two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies, juice and all. These are 10 ounces. This will give it a little bit of a kick. That were there, if you like your chili a little hot, but other members of your family don't, this will meet you right in the middle. I'm going to give that a stir. Now I have a 6 ounce can of tomato paste. This is going to help thicken the chili up. I'm going to stir that in. Now before I add any more of my seasonings, I'm going to allow this to cook for a few minutes for that tomato paste to dissolve in air and for the tomato flavor to develop a little better. That way there when I season it, I'll get a more accurate seasoning on it. So I'm going to stir this and let it simmer for a few minutes. All right now that I allowed this to cook for a little bit and let the tomato flavors develop, I'm going to add my seasonings. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of cumin. What cumin is going to do is going to give it a good earthy flavor. And I'm going to add in two one and a quarter ounce packs of chili seasoning mix. Now these are just regular chili seasoning mix. It's not hot. Like I said, those peppers will give it a little bit of a heat flavor. I'm going to stir that and You see how it's starting to give it that nice dark chili color. And guys, Eric went to the doctors today for his follow-up checkup. And they gave him a prescription for a rescue, rescue inhaler if he needs one. Which Eric's doing good. He's back to work and he's feeling better. All right now, lastly, before I forget, I have three 15-ounce cans of chili beans that I drained and rinsed. Now you could use kidney beans if you like, but I don't care for kidney beans, so I use chili beans. And that's my oven temperature because we're going to have some garlic toast with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this up to a gentle simmer and it's starting to thicken up already. And I'm going to allow this to simmer for about a half hour. And I'll taste it again for seasoning to make sure it's tasting fine. Alright guys, I left my chili simmer for a half hour. See how nice and thick it got? It's done. Let's go ahead and fix up a bowl and see what we got. Get out of there, you. Great, can't wait to get some. Guys, I went ahead and garnish this with some shredded cheddar cheese and some chives. If you're in a sour cream, go ahead and do that. I don't like it. Let me give this a try. It's really thick, well seasoned. That's really delicious and wasn't hard at all. Alright, there you have it. Beef chili. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and it's the next time. I'll see ya.